Um, I wanted to do another uh, paint split where I've fourthed the, cu the cup um, and I'm gonna zoom in on it. So I changed my entire layout to video this one so that my hands wouldn't be in the way because so many people told me like, I can't see it. So um, I'm gonna do that. Uh, if you like, hit the subscribe button. If you don't like, move it on along. Um, I will show you a couple of pieces that I just resined as well. I use stone coat countertop um, and art resin. Um, I use that for my coasters as well because it can withstand the heat. I think it's up to like 450 or 475. Um, but let me show you those real quick. So I'll step behind the camera. So this was my rose pour, I mean my 3D pour that I did that's now resined. So I thought that was really cool, came out really well. This was my ocean meets sunset pour, with a ring pour and just a dirty pour down below. You can see that, came out really cool as well. had these two. I'll show them to you like this. Nope, can't get it like that. I'll show them to you like this. So I made these two paintings. Um, I'll do a close-up on them. Love the colors. Love the cells. And the shine on it, the resin just came out beautifully. Let me see if I can get a... Yeah, you can see it that way too, the reflective surface. So that's what resin does to your paintings. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so I will get started. Let me get you down on the... Okay, guys, I'm back. So here is my cup. There's the paint partition. I mean, the partitions in there. I've got my colors over here. I had... I was using... So I've done two of these paintings tonight. And I was using the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I don't like that as much. So I'm just using regular Artist Loft White here. Um, I just felt like the color was really cloudy and I didn't like the reaction that I was getting. So, so I just pour the white into the bottom because I want the white to be my rose color. And then I'm actually, I want contrast. So I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna pour it. Hopefully you guys can see it. Let me tilt this way just a little bit. So I'm gonna pour this black in there and then tilt it down and you see how it just goes right over the bottom? So I think I'm gonna do those across from each other. Like that. I'm gonna do the darker colors for contrast next to the white. So I'm gonna do the purple on this side. Spin it around, purple on this side. So hopefully this angle is better for you guys. I like the black and the red together, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna do the gold and the purple, I like that. Maybe a little bit of gold there. So I'll do one layer of gold here. Then I'll go back to layering. Some black there. Maybe some more purple next to the gold and the red. So you guys see how that's coming out in that cup? So I'm just layering it with different colors. Now I'll put some more gold there. Just letting it pour down the side and go into the cup. Maybe some black and some purple together. The darker colors I normally like to separate, but we'll see how it comes out. I need to do a layer of red everywhere. Maybe two purples beside each other. It really doesn't matter how you lay, I mean it does matter, but it really doesn't matter how you layer these. You could play around, do whatever. See what effects you can get from it. You know, doesn't have to look the same as mine. Doesn't have to look like a rose. Doesn't have to look like anything. Just make something you like. 
people were commenting earlier saying, well, I can't get mine just like yours. Well, you don't have to get yours just like mine. If you want to, that's perfectly fine. But you don't have to. Play around with it. It doesn't matter if your lines are crazy and you know, you can't get them exactly right. It really doesn't matter. Look, I was talking and I forgot to make sure that you guys could see the cup. But you guys see what's going on here. The layering that's happening. So I've remade this video like three times because this is third time because I think it was that artist loft that I didn't really like the center that much. But I think I'll probably splice pieces together. So now that I've done this part, I'm just going to literally, oops, wiggle this and just wiggle it out. And you see how it leaves that star in the middle there? So now all my paints are separated, but together. Okay, I'm gonna stop you guys and then get my canvas set up for the pour. I wanna make sure I get the whole canvas in there. Obviously you can see that's a canvas that I scraped earlier because I didn't like it. So it's still wet, just scraped it off and I'm gonna go again. So I'm gonna to try to start pouring down one of these lines right here. I'm just gonna get close to the canvas, start pouring it out. Go a little bit faster, a little bit slower. My paint's kind of thick. There's my red, ooh, my red lines and my gold lines. That's pretty. We'll see what happens when this white comes out of here. When the white comes out, I'm gonna take my time and start going kind of slow. We'll see how hazy it is. Get some bigger lines to start. Okay, here comes my white. Now, I'm gonna try to start going slower. Yeah, guys, I think it was that Artist Loft white that I didn't, the uh, flow acrylic that I didn't like what was happening in the ring pour here. Go really slow around that center. Maybe get a couple of oblong ones in there. That's it. I'm gonna see if I can get around one more time to cover that little space right there up. got that little dip right there at the end so we'll see what happens to that this one already looks like it's 3d coming out of there so looks really cool I'm really happy with it uh, it was an accidental traveling pour I didn't really mean to but um, all right so I guess I'll stand on this side to start and I'm gonna start stretching this out and we'll see what happens um, let me get my uh, I had my gloves on earlier but I'll just go without my gloves right now Oh no, my helmet. My helmet fell off. Let me get it. Let me grab it real quick. 
might as well put my gloves back on. Just reuse my old gloves. Yeah, it's that Artist Loft White uh, Flow Acrylic. The regular Artist Loft White is what I like in my ring pour, so I'm glad that I figured that out. Okay. I'm just gonna start slowly spinning this around. can see the 3D effect that's happening already. And then as I stretch this out, we will see how the ring pour comes out. Ooh, really cool. Loving the lines of this one. So much wasted paint, but so much learned. I know you guys can't see it. I'll turn it back around in a second. So my top line traveled just a little bit too much for what I like, but that's okay. If it goes off the edges a little bit to start, that's all right. I don't wanna lose my center off the... Okay, I'm gonna set this down and go over to the other side so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna wipe off my hands because in another pour, I got something straight in the center of that and I didn't want that. center to go off of there so I'm gonna have to so if your center starts going like that you just kind of move it back see and now it's back to the center and now I can keep spinning so I'm gonna keep spinning this way you just got to get back into a circular motion or else your lines will be off Now I'm pouring down and I'm not all the way off the canvas, so I don't want that to happen. Hope you guys can still see it. down in a second I'm just trying to get over to the side stretch out everything very cool so 3d right there I'm kind of tempted to just I might do just a little bit more but I'm kind of tempted just to uh to maybe leave these edges black or something. Let me see where I can get around to. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see it. Oh my gosh, I really like the effect that this one has. So this is not a rose. See, it doesn't have to be a rose, but I really like the effect. Okay, I've gotten to that corner for the most part. And I've gotten to that corner. Now I gotta see if I can get over here. And if I can't, I'll be okay with just putting some black over there. The paint is not moving that much, and you guys can fast forward this if you want to see the final product. My feelings won't be hurt. So 
So as I stretch this end out right here, and as it comes down to there, kind of does start looking a little bit more like a flower again. Wow, this 3D effect is so cool. I know you guys can't see it. I'll put you down in a second. So I don't really want to stretch. Whoops. I don't really want to stretch that out too much more. The paint is really thick right there, though. Okay, let me see if I can get to this last corner. I'm going to bring my paint back to the center. I know you guys can't see that very well. And now that I showed you the split cut, people are probably going to be like, well, we couldn't see you tilting the canvas. Okay, so I'm trying to figure it all out, guys. Just give me some time. So this is moving really slow. So I'm just going to pour some black down there whatever black I had left over. Because I don't want to completely screw this up. Because I think it looks really cool. Yeah, you guys comment below and let me know if there's anything you want to see next. Everybody's been giving me color, so I've got some good color combinations. But if there's any techniques or any tutorials that you want me to help you with, if I can, I'm not saying I'm perfect, uh, but if I can help you and if I have any knowledge about it, um, I will try. Okay, I think that that is done. Let me take my gloves off and I'll show you. And I have a really cool idea about a jellyfish to do next as well. Yeah, you guys, I really like the 3D effect of this one. Okay. All right, so see the artist loft white, the colors are so much crisper than with the flow acrylic. Oh, I love that purple, those purple lines right there. I love these lines. I'm actually okay with the fact that that black is there. I like the center. I'm really happy with it. That's what she looks like, or he looks like, whichever. And I really like it. All right, sorry this was a long video, you guys, but I wanted to show the technique as well. So I hope everything came into frame. All right, bye you guys. Happy painting, till next time.